Hello, 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 internet, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, and right away, these are my socials. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own lyric video from scratch for pretty much any song ever. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the very first thing I'm going to do is upload the song that I want into a brand new project in DaVinci Resolve. You can download any YouTube video for this, but I'm just gonna use a song from the Eras Tour since I already had that downloaded. So, see you in a bit. Now that I have the song that I want, I'm gonna go up to this effects tab up here. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna open the toolbox and then effects. And then I'm gonna find the fusion composition. I'm just gonna drag that on top of my timeline. So this is where we're gonna actually put our text. Um, if you wanted to add a different video, all you'd have to do is delete the video track up here and add whatever you wanted to this first video track. But I actually want to keep this video track. I'm gonna right click on this Fusion Composition and then I'm gonna find where it says Open in Fusion page. I'm gonna click on that. And this is where we're gonna put our text. So if you'll see right over here, there's a text button. I'm just gonna drag that onto there. So this creates a text mode. And we're gonna drag this little square here to the yellow triangle to our media out so you can actually see what we're doing. If this is not connected, uh, then the fusion composition is just gonna be black. You're not gonna see anything there. So what we're gonna do is drag the text onto the media out and then we're just gonna start typing in our lyrics. So, since I'm doing Lavender Haze, the first lyric is Meet Me at Midnight. So I'm just gonna type that in real quick. All right, so if you haven't noticed, this looks a little boring. So first thing I, want, I like to do is change the font. Lately, I've been using this college font that I'm really vibing with. And then I'm going to go to the shading tab over here. Go to number three, which is the black shadow. Enable that. You can even like adjust the opacity of the shadow or the actual text itself. You can adjust the size or anything like that. But I'm just gonna leave it like it is for right now. So it looks a little big for my taste. So I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller and then we're just going to trim it to where it'll fit. So it's going to show up right about this clip here. So I'm just going to add it like that. Just going to trim it to fit. And then if you notice these little white tabs here, um, I don't know if you can see them, but these little white tabs are actually for a fade in and a fade out. So I'm just gonna pull those in a little bit and then you can see it'll kind of fade in and fade out. So. And that's pretty much it. So if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye.